Hey, this is Mr. Vale's math class, and I'm going to show you how to stop finger counting. So the first problem we're going to do is 8 plus 5. So the first thing we want to do, if we want to not count like, you know, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, nope. is we're going to think up to 10 and over. So with the 8, we're going to make a 10. And what makes 10 with an 8? Yeah, you're right, 2. So the next part is we're going to break this 5 up. We already know one of the numbers we're going to break it up into. And now we just need to figure out the other one. So 2 and what is going to make 5? Yeah, 3. That's good. OK. And now if we have 10 and we have 3, 10 plus 3, yep, 13. Heck yeah! So now the cool part is we could do this with larger problems. So let's say we've got something like 35 plus 7. So with this one, we're not going to make 10, but what we're going to make is the next 10 above 35. And what that is, is, yep, you're right, 40. So we're going to make 40 with 35. And 35 and what makes 40? So if we look at the 5, well, 5 and what makes 10? Yep, that's right, 5. That's an easy one. So the last part is we're going to do the same thing we did last time. We're going to break up that other number. And then 5 and what will make 7? Yeah, that's right. 5 is 2 away from 7. And then at this point, we've got the same two parts. We've got 40 and we've got 2. And thankfully, those are easy to add up. So it's 42. Yay! Cool. And that's how you can do addition without finger counting. Today in Mr. Vale's class. Very nice.